You probably already know that the cheetah is the fastest land animal on Earth, but do you know exactly how fast and how it achieves such great speeds in just a matter of seconds? In today's video, we'll uncover 21 mind-blowing facts about this incredible creature and its truly unique feline anatomy. Hold on tight, buckle up and get ready to know only what really matters about the fastest and most furious spotted cat. It is time to meet the unstoppable cheetah. Let's go. Cheetahs possess remarkable acceleration power in just a few seconds, and to be precise, we have found multiple records confirming that within just three seconds, they can go from zero to 60 miles per hour, or in kilometers, that zero to 97 kilometers per hour, leaving most sports cars in the dust. With their slender aerodynamic bodies and long legs, cheetahs don't have the need for speed. They are built for speed. Cheetahs can sprint at jaw-dropping speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, or 120 kilometers per hour, making them the fastest land animals on Earth. To put this into perspective, that's faster than most motorway speeds. When cheetahs run at top speed, they can cover a distance of over 20 feet, or 6 meters in a single stride, and 4 strides are completed per second. There are two times in one stride when the cheetah's body is completely off the ground, once when all four legs are extended, and once when all four legs are bunched under the body. Unlike big cats, cheetahs can't roar. Instead, they communicate through a wide range of sounds, including purrs, growls, and chirps. They are surprisingly communicative, expressing themselves in different situations. It's interesting to know that most big cats, such as lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars, can roar, but they can't purr. Whilst cougars, cheetahs, and smaller cats, such as bobcats, ocelots, lynxes, and house cats, can purr, but they can't roar. The bones of the cheetah's voice box comprise a fixed structure with divided vocal cords that vibrate with both inhaling and exhaling. While this design enables these cats to purr continuously, it limits the range of other sounds and prevents them from being able to roar. Cheetahs have incredibly sharp eyesight, enabling them to spot prey from a distance of up to three miles or five kilometers away. They are masters of long-range observation. Their high-set eyes are able to gaze over a wide area with a 210-degree field of view, whereas people can see objects within only 140 degrees. In addition to the position of their eyes, adaptations in the distribution of cells in their retina help them scan the horizon with better acuity. They also have high-precision vision focus, and when in a high-speed chase, they lock their eyes on the prize maintaining their head posture and gaze, regardless of speed and sudden changes in direction. To maintain their balance and make sharp turns while running, cheetahs have a specialized inner ear structure with longer semicircular ear canals, which help with head movement and eye direction. This distinctive inner ear anatomy reflects enhanced sensitivity and more rapid response to head motions. The balance system includes three semicircular canals that contain fluid and sensory hair cells that detect the head's movement. As the fluid shifts, the semicircular canals send signals to the brain about whether the head is moving up and down, side to side, or tilting. Another important aid in their balance while hunting is their long muscular tails, acting like a rudder while changing direction. These feline predators have unique black teardrop markings that stretch from the inner corner of each eye down to the sides of their mouths. Since they primarily hunt during the day, unlike other big cats, the tear marks, also called mallow stripes, help reduce the sun's glare and improve their focus on the target while hunting. It works by attracting the sun away from the eyes. The same strategy is used by football players who put black smudges under their eyes. Now, let's zoom in on the cheetah's impressive paws and claws. Cheetah's foot pads are hard and less rounded than the other cats. The pads function like tire treads, providing them with increased traction in fast, sharp turns. They have non-retractable claws, more similar to a dog than other big cats. In fact, they can retract its claws a little bit, but the fleshy sheaths that protect the claws of most cats are absent in the cheetah. Most of the claws are exposed all the time, so they don't stay sharp like those of other cats. But regardless, these claws are still extremely sharp and act like cleats, providing enhanced traction and grip to the ground during high-speed pursuits, showcasing the precision and adaptability in the cheetah's hunting toolkit. Cheetahs reach their top speeds and are capable of changing direction mid-air while running at high speeds, thanks to their incredibly flexible spines. Their spine is very flexible because the joints are simple and open, allowing for a wider range of movements. Their beautifully re-articulated skeleton reveals some of their flexibility and the ways they are able to reach such superhuman speeds. The sigmoidal curve of the spine allows the front and hind limbs to overlap, meaning that every stride can be longer as the spring-like backbone extends and contracts. The secret behind this springiness is spinal flexibility, with each vertebra having considerable freedom of movement. Furthermore, the movement of the hind limbs around the pelvis is also highly flexible. 
and the elongated ischium of the pelvis means the attached leg muscles can produce more turning force around the joint with every step. Although cheetahs are extremely fast, their sprint can't be maintained for long distances. They are not built for prolonged chases, and their hunts typically last less than a minute, as extended sprints can lead to overheating. They can only sprint for about 20 to 30 seconds before getting exhausted. It is thought that cheetahs have adapted to hunting during the day in order to avoid competing with larger carnivores like lions, leopards and hyenas. Unlike those nocturnal hunters, cheetahs see better during the day than at night. This is because cheetahs have more cone photoreceptor cells and fewer rod photoreceptor cells in their retina compared with other cats. A specific type of cone photoreceptor called S-cones are much more abundant in cheetah retinas than other cats, which are expected to enhance their ability to discriminate colors. They will climb trees for a few reasons, none of which are because they're good at it. Their claws do not fully retract back into the foot like most cats, and this creates a clumsy liability when trying to maneuver up, down and around a tree. Often, cheetahs must resort to jumping down the last several feet of descent due to this weakness. Almost all cheetahs do love to jump onto low trees, not as much climbing, and they mostly do so in order to get a better view of the layout of the local land and see what they can about other predators who may be around or prey species they may want to hunt. With their slender bodies and long legs, cheetahs have evolved to be lightweight, reaching an average weight of 80 to 140 pounds, or 36 to 63 kilograms, is about 30 inches or 77 centimeters tall at the shoulder and on average is 55 inches or 140 centimeters long, with approximately another 30 inches or 76 centimeters in tail length. The hunt has several components. It includes prey detection, stalking, chasing, and finally the tripping. As a cheetah nears its target, it will swat at and trip the prey with its dew claw. If the cheetah makes contact, it knocks down its prey and drives its small upper canine teeth into the throat, killing by means of suffocation by applying pressure to the windpipe. Cheetahs have a thin frame with a narrow waist and deep chest. They have large nostrils that allow for increased oxygen intake, and they have large lungs and hearts connected to a circulatory system with strong arteries and adrenals that work in tandem to circulate oxygen through their blood very efficiently. To support their high-speed pursuits, cheetahs boast oversized lungs and hearts, these physiological adaptations ensure efficient oxygen delivery to muscles during intense sprints, and their arteries have muscles around them to help pump blood faster and to ensure that their brain and legs don't starve for oxygen while they're in a high-speed pursuit. Interestingly, the reason that cheetahs can only sprint short distances is not because they grow tired. It is because their bodies become so hot that their brain starts to overheat, which could be very dangerous. Incredibly, cheetahs have an exceptional success rate when hunting. They manage to catch their prey in around 50% of their attempts. Their prey includes gazelles, impalas, and other small to medium-sized antelopes, hares, birds, and rodents. Cheetahs will also prey on the calves of larger herd animals. They are one of the most successful hunters on the savanna, but their kills are very often stolen by larger carnivores or predators that hunt in groups. Females lead solitary lives unless they are accompanied by their cubs. Unlike male cheetahs that prefer to live in set territories with their coalition, Females travel within home ranges that overlap multiple male groups' territories. These home ranges depend on the distribution of prey. If prey is roaming and widespread, females will have larger ranges. Estrus in female cheetahs is not predictable or regular, and it is one of the reasons why it is difficult to breed cheetahs in captivity. Mating receptivity depends on environmental factors that are triggered by the proximity of males and their scent markings. Estrus lasts up to 14 days and females will mate with multiple males during this time period. Male cheetahs that encounter a female cheetah in estrus will stay with her and mate up to three days and at intervals throughout the day. When it comes to mating, there are no dominant males within the coalition that claim exclusive access to females. All males within a coalition will mate. Female cheetahs give birth to a litter of three to five cubs, but can be as many as eight. Cheetah mothers invest a considerable amount of time and energy in teaching their cubs essential hunting skills before they become independent and do so completely on their own without the help of a pride. At birth, the cubs weigh 8.5 to 15 ounces or 240 to 415 grams and are blind and helpless. Their mother will groom them patiently, purring quietly and providing them warmth and security. After a day or so, the mother will leave the cubs to hunt for herself so she can continue to care for the cubs. This is the most vulnerable time for the cubs as they are left unprotected. They will live in a secluded nest until they are about six to eight weeks old, being regularly moved by their mother from nest to nest to avoid detection by predators. Fewer than one in 10 cubs will survive during this time as they perish from predation by other large predators such as lions and hyenas or from injuries. 
the mother will care for her cubs on her own for the next year and a half. Cheetah cubs have a thick, silvery grey mantle down their back. The mantle helps camouflage the cubs by imitating the look of an aggressive animal called a honey badger. This mimicry may help deter predators such as lions, hyenas and eagles from attempting to kill them. Cubs lose their mantle at about three months of age. As the female siblings become sexually mature, they will split from the group to lead a largely independent life. Male siblings remain together for the rest of their lives, forming a group known as a coalition. Coalitions increase hunting success and act as a defense against other predators. When the split from sisters occurs, the males will roam until they can find and defend a territory. This process can take a few years, and males may travel hundreds of miles, being moved out of one area to another, pushed on by more experienced male coalitions. Eventually, the group will find a place where they can settle. This will become the coalition's territory, and could span 15 to 30 square miles. Let's not forget to admire the cheetah's exquisite coat. Their fur is adorned with a pattern of distinctive spots, not the rosettes seen in other big cats like leopards. Each cheetah has a unique arrangement of spots, acting like a fingerprint for identification. A cheetah's spots cover nearly its entire body and serves as camouflage by offsetting shadows in the grey-hued grasses they inhabit. Camouflage is not only essential for stalking prey, but also for protecting cheetah cubs from predators. Cheetah cubs are born with all the spots they'll ever have, but when they're tiny, those spots are very close together. The cheetah is the only member of the Asinonyx genus, and the name Asinonyx actually means unmovable nail in Greek, referring to their non-retractable claws. Cheetahs are thought to be amongst the oldest cat species. There are remains of cheetahs and cheetah-like cats, discovered in Africa, Eurasia and North America that have been dated to approximately 3 million to 10,000 years ago. Nowadays, the largest single population of cheetahs occupies a six-country polygon that spans Angola, Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, Mozambique and Zambia. Namibia has the largest number of individuals of any country, earning it the nickname, the cheetah capital of the world.